Hello students, welcome back to my channel. As on the demand of the children, again they have demanded 7th lesson, 8th lesson and 9th lesson. This will be your upcoming lessons. Okay, so today we are going to understand about the settlements and migration. Okay, so in this we shall try to learn about what is settlement, what is migration, how many types of migrations are there. About all these topics we shall try to learn in this class. Okay, right. So in between I will be using Telugu language also. So that will be very helpful for understanding the lesson even. Sarana? Okay, right. So what is settlement? The way we organize ourselves and our living in a space is called settlement. So how we are, see how we are organizing ourselves here by constructing the roads. Okay, so there you can ride your vehicles like, uh, you know, motorbikes, cars, trucks and all. Yes or not? And uh, here we are also electrifying the poles, electric poles, so that we can have the electricity in our homes. Yes or not? And uh, you know, drainage system, proper drainage system, where all the trash can be, you know, <coughs> it can go somewhere. The drainage system, which you call Kalwalu Morilu, which you call. Okay. So in this way, we are organizing our, ourselves, and we are living in it. We are living in that space. So that is called settlement. Okay. Is that clear? Right. Okay. Next topic. Now next topic is, next topic is how were settlements began. How were settlements begun? If you take into consideration around 1.8 lakh years ago or more than that or more than that the people lived in hunters and gathering by hunting and gathering that is by hunters and gatherers okay so the you know the living the human being used to he used to hunt the animals and slowly slowly he started gathering the food and he started eating and in this way slowly slowly what he did he started living in a he started living at one place which is called settlement he left his nomadic life okay oka prantham nunchi ingo prantanki velle vaadu in search of food by hunting the animals but now what he did now he started settling at one place okay and they started gathering the foods and then after they started living in a place, they started rearing the animals. Okay. Aulu, Barrelu, Gorani, Vitini, Pencharam, Sajeshinu. And he came to know about the cultivation of crops. So in this way, the human being started understanding to live in a one place. Okay. So this is what the settlement started. Now next topic. Why do settlement change? In our textbook, he has given about the Delhi. <coughs> okay. Delhi is, it is the capital city of India. We know that it is the capital city of India. Okay. So, you know, as it is the capital city of India, here you can find uh, the PMO, the Prime Minister of Office is found here only and various central government offices are also, you can find here itself. So, most of the people, so Chalavandi in search of job, Okay, Ujjagala Gosam, they, what they will do? They will go to Delhi. They have gone to Delhi and they will go to Delhi even. Okay, so for why they have gone here? For jobs and for education, especially they will go there. Okay, in search of employment, in search of education. For, uh, you know, pursuing their education. Okay, <clears throat> so this is what we can see here. And uh, as number of people started living, as number of people started living and they started coming to Delhi as number of people they started coming to Delhi for jobs and education okay and here Delhi started growing in an unplanned manner Delhi started growing how it started growing ma in an unplanned manner okay for example assume that some of the people those who are those who have come from villages okay who are very very poor so such type of people they don't afford they cannot afford to rent or take the house or room for a rent okay why because the room for rent is very very high and they also has to pay the deposit okay so as these workers or these i'm sorry as these laborers as they cannot pay such huge amount of rent and the huge amount of rent wal gatta leka wal andike kada wal ochindi ikkadiki city ki edanna edanchina job dorthe edanna labor pan dorthe pan cheskunam ani aalochana todi wal ochindi 
will dana paisa de kadi papam so that's why what they'll do <coughs> what they'll do actually that place will be a, that place will be government okay there what they will do they will make the thatch house a thatched roof house okay which is made up of uh, which is made of tetrapolitan tetrapolitan are good cell okay what did they do illu at kudu anamata and they started living there and uh, as their conditions grow better slowly slowly what they will do they'll make the house okay what type of house a brick house okay and as these houses are not registered okay they are not registered by the government gavati so they will not get electricity they will not get even water supply why if you are registered if your house is registered then only you will get water supply and electricity until and unless you will not get yes or not if you కరెంటు మీటర్ కావాలంటే ఏం కావాలి ఇంటి నెంబర్ కావాలి కానీ వీళ్ళకి ఇంటి నెంబర్ ఉందా లేదు ఇంటి నెంబర్ ఎందుకు లేదు బికాస్ ఇల్లీగలీ దే ఆర్ హౌ కన్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ ఆన్ దట్ ఏరియా ఎక్కడైతే వాళ్ళు ఫస్ట్ ఓ టెన్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ ఎక్కడైతే వాళ్ళు గుడ్సే కట్టుకున్నారో ఆ ఏరియాని వాళ్ళు కబ్జా చేసుకున్నారు నవ్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ యూజెస్ స్ట్రిక్ట్ యాక్షన్స్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ యూజెస్ స్ట్రిక్ట్ యాక్షన్స్ ఆన్ దీస్ పీపుల్ హూ హ్యావ్ కన్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ ఇల్లీగల్ హౌసెస్ ఎవ్రీ డే దే విల్ బి గెట్టింగ్ ద warnings and matter you have to evacuate this place why because this place is a government place from here the road will go the road comes from this way okay but uh, due to some and these people due to some uh, you know politics okay as they will be involved in the politics or they will be having a hand over the politics as they could not remove these houses and matter and uh, in this way the delhi has grown in completely in an unplanned manner okay on some sides you can see completely slum area where proper drainage system undadu proper electricity undadu nothing will be there okay and the people are living in that areas only so this is the not only the story of delhi we can see in many of the cities like even hyderabad and in mumbai mumbai completely dharavi and a place okay in these regions you can find completely how the places are the places are completely slum okay where you don't find any sort of infrastructure facilities or whatever okay and they don't have even the uh, you know voter id cards of that particular region because why they don't have the voter cards of this area because they come from the they come from where they come from the villages okay so this is the slight uh, situation or the story of delhi we have taken okay which is given in your test book all right i hope you have understood this topic also guys so now we'll try to understand uh, now we'll try to understand about the other topic now next topic is what type of places are formed as settlements what settlements so now we are going to understand the next topic that is what type of places are formed as settlements okay so if you say, take into consideration there are three factors which are considered as that type of places are considered as settlements there only the people will live more okay first one is site situation and history of the place these are the three most important things uh, which attracts the people to live in that place okay site situation and history of the place so if you take into consideration here what type of site whether it is a altitude high altitudes or low altitudes or plain areas okay what type of situation on which situ on which area it is situated okay okay <coughs> i'm extremely sorry situation on which area it is situated okay whether it is a deccan whether it is a plateau region plain region coastal region or hilly region and what type of history it has okay whether any kings or any historical places like any very big rivers or uh, you know any kings which have any kings who have ruled that area so all these are taken into consideration here he has taken of uh, history of the place like uh, the chatrapati shivaji chatrapati shivaji maharaj he has lived in the place called pratapgarh pratapgarh <coughs> so this area its height is very high okay on you know in on the mountain he has constructed his palace 
okay why he has constructed his play you know his palace on the mountain because ikkad nunchi akkad nunchi chaala dooram nunchi vache enemies ni chaala easy ga chuluga chusi vaalla meeda attack cheyochu avuna so that's why you know the history of the players plays a very important role where chatrapati shivaji has constructed his fort or palace on the a big mountain called pratap gad okay is that clear right so this is all about history of the place right and even you can see here and even you can see here about visakhapatnam visakhapatnam why the why the population of visakhapatnam is very high why the population is very high in visakhapatnam nearly you know uh, around it was around 50000 in around 1950s lo ite but now if you by 2011 if you take uh, nearly about 20 to 25 lakh of people you can find only in in one district that is visakhapatnam of andhra pradesh so what is a major reason here means here you can find number of industries and it is very near to the uh, you know it is very near to what the sea which see bay of bengal okay and uh, it is connected to various states of india it is connected to various states like you can see for example this is this is andhra here it is connected to we can uh, go through the boats through the ships by taking large amount of containers through orissa and uh, through even to tamil nadu and even it can you know they can also go to by ship they can go to tamil nadu they can go to by ship to kerala and uh, even karnataka goa and maharashtra okay and even gujarat so it is one of the trading center or mata here large amount of vessels on the ships are transported to visakhapatnam and they are also exported so that's why here it is one of the greatest and biggest trading center in india and uh, other plus point is that here you can find number of minerals and other plus point is that due to minerals here number of industries are there and all these facilities are provided to government you need labors you need workers you need you know you need employees for that here the population has increased continuously did you understand more what i said here yes of course ikkada trading center ikkada completely vyaparam jarugutundi anamata why because export egumati and digumati you can find and it is connected to orissa orissa connect avutundi okay andhra anni anni district la andhra connect avutundi tamil nadu connect ayindi kerala karnataka goa maharashtra gujarat ivanni coastal areas ikkada anni anni rashtralu connect avutundi kabatti and ikkada plus point endi ante that ikkada kanijalu undi number of minerals are there underneath of the earth anduke pedda pedda industries iron and steel industries you can find okay and various ship building industries and various 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 number of industries are found here and a kam a yokka pedda pedda industry lo em kavalma labor roll kavali workers kavali employees kavali avuna ledha so dan gurinchi population edi bhayankaram ga erigipoyindi anamata ikkada visakhapatnam understood right very nice okay now next topic okay guys we are going to understand in this completely about the according to the population what they are called as they are called with the different different names okay so mega cities whose population is more than 10 million okay whose population is more than 10 millions that is about nearly about 1 crore such type of uh, cities are called as mega cities alandi cities name under mega cities under like mumbai tarvata delhi kolkata these type of cities whose population is more than 10 million so such type of cities are called as mega cities okay meeku exam time lo kuda ilanti osaru vadi ilanti pai chart this type of uh, pyramid chart ostundi and you will be asked the question then you have to write this type of answer anamata and next comes metropolitan city okay the metropolitan cities lo whose population is 1 million to 10 million such type of cities considered as metropolitan cities you can see chennai hyderabad ahmedabad chennai in madras that is in tamil nadu and hyderabad mana telangana ahmedabad in gujarat so these type of cities are called as metropolitan cities now if you see that here cities are class 1 cities ikkada population entu untadi 1 lakh to 10 lakh varaku untadi okay so such type of cities are called as class 1 cities okay now towns inga mana mana area lo towns untai okay so the towns e edundo whose population is 5000 to 1 lakh madhyalo untado so alanti alanti population unna pranta ne em antaru towns ani cheptaru okay 
and uh, revenue of census village the yeah, revenue lela census village what it is called a village with a defined borders okay polymer unta chusara so alanti village me ullo kuda if you are living in the village what the village you are living so if it is a big slightly there you are having 100 to 200 houses so such type of villages are called as such type of villages are called as census village lela village and revenue village and cochu and hamlets chinna chinna villages okay like tandas we can see okay all where you can hardly can find the 30 40 houses okay and 30 40 families where they are living such type of uh, you know areas are called as hamlets and what a group of houses within the village then it is called as hamlet and you chinna like tanda laga okay is that clear understood ma right very nice okay in india if you see that here in India, nearly 350 million people, that is about one third of the population. One third of the population is where they are living? They are living in the cities and towns only. Cities and towns. Cities and towns only, one third of the population. Okay. So, here, what is urbanization? I will urbanization. Urbanization is urbanization. Urbanization two marks answer. See, the number of people, what they are doing, they are living the agriculture and taking up what type of activity, non-agriculture activity or work and where they are living, they are going or living in towns and cities is called as what? Urbanization. They are living in towns and cities is called as urban. Generally in towns and cities, you can, can you find agriculture activity? No, if you have a lot of buildings, you have a agriculture activity. Okay, so here the people who are taking up non-agriculture activity and going to the and living in towns and cities that is called urbanization very important for two months. Okay, so this is what the definition of urbanization and we will try to understand more about this. Okay, right. Okay, in urban area, in urban area you can find the, the decent roads decent roads electrified electricity electric city okay proper drainage system you can find drainage system is found properly okay and water supply through pipes water supply all these works in a defined organized way okay one ni sakramanga anni time to time nadichipothunte anamata okay so aithe ivanni chese devaru government Okay, and there you can find uh, the municipal elections which is called for the GHMC. Okay, and the, as we are living in the Telangana Gauti, we are having Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. It is a head where it is found. It is located in Hyderabad only this GHMC. Okay, so Prati area or Prati town you can find municipal elections and what. And what is the duty of them? What is the duty of them? All the, like uh, roads, Nirmanam Jadam. Okay, if the traffic is very heavy, then the construction of bridges and all, pools, bridges and proper electricity and proper drainage system work out jayadam, and water supply connect to jayadam, and ki, neel andhe vidanga, andar ki current andhe vidanga, and neel lalo current andhe vidanga, okay, andar ki upayi wode road with construct jayashe vidanga, sakra manga yu anni panlu jayasko wala, yore yale, government, okay, so for that, elections anhevi jaru dhu unta yamana, sare, yu yoko anta yite, ingo vishe me nande, and many of the people, many of the people, they are going for the urban areas from the villages. Why they are going, ma? Especially, first thing is for jobs. Second thing is for education. For education. Okay. So, ite. And here, your ite job is who are doing the labor work, na? So, the other category of people. Here he has given the labor slow. Other categories of the people, other caste people, they are having the good amount of income but whereas if you take into, into consideration the scheduled tribes and scheduled caste even uh, they are having a uh, very less wages very less wages in cities but if you take into comparison with the villages their conditions are better whose conditions are better the labor's conditions are better here why their conditions are better because they are doing the work and they are getting the income and uh, not only one income they may get, 
there are, there are different source of income also they can get in the cities if you are having the will to do the work okay so number of jobs and number of uh, you know rather than primary income you can also get uh, the secondary income also it is gained in the cities and towns okay so this is all about uh, urbanization i hope guys you have understood okay so i re i repeat in telugu here <coughs> labors are getting the మినిమం ఇన్కమ్ బట్ ఇన్ దాట్ ద దీనమైన పరిస్థితి ఎవరికి ఉంది అంటే షెడ్యూల్డ్ ట్రైబ్స్ అండ్ షెడ్యూల్డ్ క్యాస్ట్ వాళ్ళకు ఉందని చెప్తున్నారు అనమాట సో దే కెన్ గెట్ ద బెటర్ ఇన్కమ్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ ఇఫ్ దే చిల్డ్రన్ ఆర్ ఎడ్యుకేటెడ్ ఓకే అండ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ దాట్ బట్ ఆల్సో దే క్యాన్ డూ ఎక్స్ట్రా వర్క్ అనమాట నాట్ ఓన్లీ వన్ పర్సన్ హ్యాస్ టు డూ ద వర్క్ హియర్ దేర్ ఫ్యామిలీ లైక్ హిస్ వైఫ్ ఆల్సో ఇఫ్ షీ ఈస్ ఆల్సో డూయింగ్ సమ్ వర్క్ అండ్ దాట్ విల్ బీ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ టు జనరేట్ ద ఇన్కమ్ ఫర్ అడిషనల్ ఇన్కమ్ అనేది జనరేట్ అవుతుంది ఎవరికి మా ఆ ఫ్యామిలీకి దానివల్ల వాళ్ళు ఒక డీసెంట్ ఒక డీసెంట్ ఆర్ లేదా స్టాండర్డ్ ఆఫ్ లివింగ్ అనేది వాళ్ళు బతకవచ్చు ఎస్ ఆర్ నోట్ సో దిస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ అర్బనైజేషన్ ఐ హోప్ గైస్ యూ హండర్స్టూడ్ దిస్ టాపిక్ 